What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Nomadic King channel. I'm James Showers, cleanest name in the biz. We're about ready to check out some Occidental leather bags. Now, I'm going to go out and say this is basically the ultimate carpenter's setup if you're looking for leather Occidentals. What we got here in this bag, or this box right here, is a, a set of drywall bags and a set of framer bags and a fastener pouch, belt, and some, sus some suspenders. Let's check this stuff out. All right, what we got here is a box sent to me from a subscriber. We got a very nice, basically new um, Occidental set here. And this is a two pouch fastener. This is perfect. Um, we also have this seven pouch framer bag. Now this thing is super cool. I've been wanting to check one of these things out for a while maybe even give it some use so I'm not too sure what I'm gonna be doing with this guy exactly I'm gonna set these things up and let's uh let's see what let's see how they look now this is gonna basically be a setup where you can switch out your two tool pouches you know going from um, drywall set to your framing set or you can just stick with the framing set and have just like a little bigger um, bag setup. I do like the compact style of the drywall set, so um, I don't know. Let's check them out, and then maybe we'll do a comparison video between all three of these and well, these two and the uh, big oxies. What else we got here? We've got some, some. Damn man, I cannot say that. Some suspenders, and we also have hip buddies. Now these are for um, the suspender set. So they should be clipping on, and we're going to go and check out how that all works out. We've got ourselves a belt here. Now this is a medium. It's actually my size. Perfect. We've got a hammer holder, and it's a low, low riding hammer holder, but it's pretty sweet. Still a nice, good hammer holder. We've got, I, I, I kind of want to say these are snips for snips, but, um, I don't know. I'm guessing you can stick some other stuff in there. So, just kind of a snip, uh, snip pouch. So, we do that, and we've got a couple of these. I think I have four of them. I'm missing the other two somewhere, but we're gonna get this thing put together. All right. All right. Basically, this is my Occidental collection. Got all the new stuff here on the left. Here's all the old stuff. I'm gonna set up a couple bags and. Uh, hook up a couple apprentices with some uh, some bags. Good deal on some bags here. So let's put this thing together. What are we setting up first? Let's set up a fr the framer set, man. Let's make this thing look cool. situation like this where you have your framer bag you can always slip it off real quick and throw on your drywall pouch or if you don't mind I guess you could just use this framer pouch for drywall when you're doing that or whatever else you decide you're gonna need to do that day so what do you guys think about this setup do you like the suspenders 
do the suspenders work for you? I'm kind of a hip guy. I'm going to throw something together here for myself. And then I'm going to get something set up for uh, one of these apprentices where I work. So, all right, stay tuned. You know what I've decided? I like all this. It's nice. I'll probably end up keeping my setup for me. But I'm going to set this up for my uh, apprentice friend, Gerald. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, hook him up with a nice deal on this whole little setup. So let's get that thing, let's get that put together for him. All right, this is what I decided. I've got the framer bag here. I'm going to take a look at that. There we go. It's got quite a bit of room in there. A few, uh, a few designated areas for some tools, some bits, uh, sharper tools, maybe a... a uh, what the hell is that? Torpedo level. You probably throw your clamps in here if you need to. If you don't want to hang them off the leather strap in the front. You could also put a rasp in there. It would work out pretty good. This has got the back buddies. Or the back buddies. The hip buddies. And you can also hook the uh, suspenders up to that. So that's pretty sweet. Now I got this setup going on. Now this is my drywall setup. Got the two pouch here. This is nice and new looking. Looks sweet. I've got my back buddy on this. I did take off that third pouch. It was just too much, too much leather on the bags. I have my three pouch here. I keep my tape measure in that pouch. I got this low rise compared to the, well, I mean the higher rise compared to the low rise. Um, this is, I've got my, I've got this tool shield in here. I'll put a link in the description down below. These things are pretty sweet. It just helps from what doesn't doesn't let my knife poke through the leather so I kind of like it um, this is the drywall setup and it's basically perfect for exactly what you're gonna need for drywall tools keyhole saw circle cutter rasp knife now over here we've got the big oxies we'll take a look at those now these ones need a rivet right here they need to kind of be put back together and these things are obviously huge so they're called the big oxies and I'll probably put all these uh, tool bags side by side so you can kind of see what's going on. And they've got some extra bit holders up here along the belt side. And a couple of these down here for miscellaneous tools. I mean, you can put a whole screw gun in here. And this is the fastener pouch for that, which is also the big oxy fastener pouch. Now it's huge as well. It's giant. And we got two little pouches up here one for your tape measure one for probably your chalk line or something like that so that's pretty cool um, this one has the uh, full band liner now they recommend the full band la liner with the big oxys because these are so wide they won't sit between these but I kind of think they would if you wanted to set it up like this with the big uh, with the big oxys instead of you know um, the framer pouch or the drywall pouch but yeah this is looking pretty nice we can always put a back buddy here if we want or a third pouch if you needed but uh, yeah it's a pretty nice setup what kind of setup you guys got from this occidental lineup you guys uh, have something totally different We've got the suspenders and now these would work with all three of these applications all you'd have to do would be is to add these to either one of these setups and you could add the suspenders uh, sometimes I like to run them down like this and have a place to hook a tool lanyard it's always a good idea let's line these guys up and let's see uh, kind of the difference between these two all these pouches so what do you guys think we got a lot of a lot of spots up here in the big oxys but there's a lot of leather this guy right here is pretty small and compact but then you're limited on what you can put there and it's it's definitely pretty tight this guy is kind of the medium section i almost feel like it's just right i wish they would have the uh the metal hammer loop holder on the front because i like to put my snips in there so leave your comments down below let me know what you guys think what kind of bags you guys are using if i got these things set up the way you'd set them up let me know in the comments below if you're wondering why I'm out here in this parking lot doing this tool bag review look at whatever you want to call this well if you haven't seen any of my other videos I'm a carpenter nomad and uh, 
boondocking the city out here. And well, this seemed like a good place to go ahead and film these bags. No one's out here. It's chilling. Sun is going down, so we're going to wrap up this video. Hey, like, share, definitely subscribe. And everybody, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.